For some teams, they're more important than others because spots are open. Places like Purdue, for some teams like Michigan, you lost all that veteran leadership. Let's talk about some of those, I'm not gonna necessarily always say freshmen, but let's say fresh faces, or guys who could for the first time make a big impact. And we start in the West Division, and with the Illinois quarterback situation that you mentioned before, it seems to be solidified. We just don't know a lot about the guy who's already been named starter. Yeah, Chase Crouch uh, is going to be the quarterback. We think he's going to be the quarterback at Illinois. I had an opportunity to do a game last year, an Illinois game last year, and he got on the field, and right away I thought, man, this guy is exciting. Now he's a dual-threat quarterback from Newark, Ohio. Uh, he's got really good size, and I think not only are you going to see a new quarterback, you're going to see a new system there in Illinois. Lovey Smith, since he's been there, has had a desire to have a power running game. Well, when you have a quarterback like this, that sure helps you. And Garrick McGee, McGee, the offensive coordinator, don't be surprised, Rick, if you see some options, yep. quarterback reads. But this guy is a good, exciting football player. I think that fits more with the style that they wanted to play, but West Lund was simply not that kind of athlete. I'll give you that from the quarterback position. Wisconsin has had an issue with the wide receiver depth. Now, they've had some very good wide receivers, but the last couple of years, the depth hasn't been there. Very young guy who's come along out of Texas. He was a three-star wide receiver named Cade Green. Is getting some rave reviews from folks that are watching Wisconsin practice. Yeah, you know, sometimes and what we do, we can talk about guys like I could have crouched because I saw him play. Now, I've never seen this guy. I wouldn't know if he walked in here right now. But like you say, hearsay, rumors, this guy can play football. And he plays at a position on a good football team that needs some help. He's from Austin, Texas. Not a highly recruited guy. Was offered a scholarship to New Mexico until Wisconsin came along. But let's face it, there's been some good football players that weren't very heralded that came out of the state of Texas turned out to be pretty good like a Drew Brees but they say this guy catches everything that's thrown to him smaller guy reminds you a little bit of I'm not saying he's gonna have an Aberderis like career but small receivers those possession guys Hornerbrook doesn't have a real strong arm doesn't throw it downfield too often could fit into their offense all right to the east and the return of Rutgers star Janarian Grant I mean here's a guy who we expected to make a big impact when Leontay Carew was gone, but then he spent all the season banged up. And now with Jerry Kill there as a new OC, it's fascinating to watch how that's going to play out. Yeah, you hit it. This guy's not a new face. He's not a young guy. He is a forgotten guy. And I want to tell you, if you haven't played, if you didn't play Rutgers a couple of years ago, you don't know what we're talking about. This guy is an outstanding football player, really dangerous in the kicking game, wide receiver, multiple positions. And you mentioned Jerry Kill who's an excellent offensive coach. I bet he's just dreaming ways to get the ball in his hands. I also think the Maryland quarterback situation is fascinating. DJ Durkin said they could have four guys still in competition for that heading up to the last week. I mean, Kasim Hill's a very highly recruited guy, and Durkin mentioned him, but Tyrell Pigram, or Piggy as they know him, he's the guy who actually got a little bit of run last year, and he and Hill are completely different quarterbacks. Yeah, well, let me tell you about Pigram. He's a good football player and if he can't play quarterback he'll end up playing some other interesting position. thought I, I really believe that and, you know the word I get this Caleb Henderson who was a transfer in from North Carolina at least initially has the edge but I can tell you they will not settle there for Pigram to be the backup quarterback standing on the sideline DJ Durkin if he wins the quarterback position dual threat watch out him carrying the football but if Henderson's the quarterback, watch for him to be a wide receiver.